Kate Stanley last Wednesday? Yes. An accused killer in San Francisco is admitting to the crime and telling us where he got the gun. He talks only to ABC7 News. Hello, everyone. I'm Katie Marzullo. 32-year-old Kate Steinle was shot and killed Wednesday on Pier 14 near the Ferry Building. That's where ABC7 News reporter Cornell Bernard is live with an interview you'll only see on ABC7 News. So, Cornell, you talked to Francisco Sanchez face-to-face. -face. Not only did he confess, he gave you details of the crime? Yeah, that's right, Katie. Sanchez didn't recall every detail because he says he doesn't remember every detail of what happened here at Pier 14. But during our 45-minute jailhouse interview, he revealed how it happened and why he kept returning to the United States after being deported numerous times. Did you shoot Kate Steinle, the lady who was down on Pier 14? Yes. You did shoot her? Mm -hmm. Murder suspect Francisco Sanchez tells ABC7 News the shooting that took the life of 32-year-old Kate Steinle last Wednesday was an accident. He says he was wandering on Pier 14 after taking sleeping pills he found in a dumpster. Where did you get the gun? In the ground, when the, when the over there in the bench, I um, um, pushed the, my leg and then see the one teacher and then see over there something like that. Sanchez claims a gun was wrapped in that t-shirt and when he picked it up. That's when I hear the boom boom three times. He claims he kicked the gun into the bay, lit up a cigarette and walked off, not knowing he shot someone until he was arrested by police hours later. Sanchez reportedly first told police he was shooting at sea lions. Sanchez appeared frail and nervous when he talked about returning to the U.S. after being deported back to his native Mexico five times. Why did you keep coming back to the U.S.? Why did you come back to San Francisco? Mm -hmm. Because I'm looking for the John, the restaurant, or roofing, last keeping, or, or construction. Sanchez said he knew San Francisco was a sanctuary city where he would not be pursued by immigration officials. Yeah, I feel the sorry for the, the everybody. You feel sorry for everybody, including Kate Steinle's family? Yeah. In Spanish, Sanchez said the courts should give him the highest punishment so that he can tell her parents in court he no longer wants to live. We reached out to the Steinle family tonight for reaction. They had no immediate comment about Stan Sanchez's interview to us today. They say right now their goal is preserving Kate's memory. Sanchez told me that at this point he has no attorney. We're live in San Francisco, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Cornell. Steinle's family has set up an online fundraising page to raise money for Kate's funeral and collect donations to benefit charities that were important to her. We have a link on our website, abc7news.com.